Atito, hello, it's Maya Grace in case you don't know, and today we're gonna be making an 18 teens living history kit to go outside. That's right, we're actually making something to wear it for a thing. I had never done a living history event before, and since moving in with Katie, she has invited me to a lot of them. And that means I've have to put a couple of kits together. And the Regency event was coming first, and it was barreling towards us at the speed of light. So we had to put something together fast. But because this event was going to be an immersive, like, war event, I really just needed something that, like, a working woman would have been wearing. And thankfully, Katie had this gorgeous overdress here. It's made from a really nice cotton, and all we had to do to make it wearable was replace some of the places where it had started to wear, and unpick the hem to make it a little bit longer because Katie is small and I am tall. And around the same time that we found this dress, I found a black linen dress at Goodwill, which had the right silhouette for like a Regency underdress. It's also 100% linen, so frickin' score. At this point, we had the bare minimum of what we needed to put together a functioning Regency outfit, at least for a weekend. So from here, we just had to wing it. Past Katie left me enough hem that I was actually able to unfold this quite a bit and I'd have enough for a French seam which I was going to attach the lace with. And I wanted to do a French seam because it would look a little bit like a pin tuck, it would be nice and sturdy, and I was kind of lazy and I didn't want to hand stitch anything on my hem, so that's what I did. Another shout out to past Katie, uh, she bought this lace and she forgot about it in her stash and now I get to use it. But what you see me doing here on screen is pinking the first go of my French seam before I iron it, fold it inside out, and do my proper stitch. Prince, I was being so productive. I was being so productive. And now here you are. Oh! <laughs> anyway, back to the important part. We're doing the second pass of the French seam, and after that, everything I needed to do to this chemise was done. And my initial plan was to just simply wear this chemise over top of a black linen dress that I got from Goodwill, completely lucked out on because it is the perfect silhouette and fabric, but the universe had better plans for me. We are on our way. I don't actually know where we're going, and I probably should have asked that before I started the film. But I, I shouldn't say this. I should leave this out because it makes me sound really irresponsible. Do, do you want to know where yeah. we're going? <laughs> Perrysburg, Ohio. We're going to Perrysburg, Ohio for a Regency event. And because Courtney is the best person and the best friend in the world, she sent me a couple of Regency dresses and they got here like literally as we were packing up the car to go to the event. So thank you, Courtney. Uh, I'm actually gonna open this now. That's the thing that you do for me, right? Yeah, it's unboxing. It's, unboxing. it's an unboxing video and a travel vlog. And I'm carefully holding it so that the address is facing me and not the camera. No doxing. Ooh. Oh, I forgot there were two in here. Don't worry, Doxy Mickey doesn't watch me. Watch, watch our videos. Okay, well this is lovely. It's cute. Honestly, the pictures did not do them justice. And this one is gonna be so nice and warm. Like, I'm, I'm really excited for this one because it has long sleeves. It'll be nice in the fall. Yes. So thank you, thank you, Courtney, because this was perfect timing. <laughs> I'm so excited for this that I'm literally gonna change into it at a Taco Bell gas station. Fancy dress and tacos in hand, it was time to go set up the site. And setting up the site actually did involve me climbing up onto the truck in my skivvies. It was a good day, and a day that only got better when we forgot tent steaks, had to go buy some, and looked at some fish inside of the outdoor store. I haven't really been to a Cabela's before, and I didn't know that it was, like, full of fish. Like, these guys just live in the Cabela's. This is their home. They know nothing outside of the bounds of capitalism. And like, what did they do to my boy? He looks so sneaky. Why would they immortalize him this way? But anyway, speaking of immortalizing, the historic site has like this tiny little miniature version of itself and you can see all the cute little like barracks and things. I thought it was nifty. But even niftier was our cool little setup that we had. As it turns out, charcuterie is historically accurate. So we mostly sat around doing cool historical tasks like sewing and chatting amongst ourselves and answering visitor questions and every now and then one of us would get up and take a turn about the estate or get some water. 
I am very glad, of course, that I panic sewed this little Regency work bag the night before we left. It's not perfect, but I used it to hold my sunscreen. It's also reversible, so the next day, whenever I wanted to wear the blue ribbon and the pink dress from Courtney, it still went with my outfit. Also, the next day, I found that a spider had started to make a web in the top of my water glass. I'm sure by now you've noticed that I'm wearing a lot of little pieces that are borrowed from friends, and that was my favorite part of this experience. Because for the average civilian of this time, you would have to borrow things, unless of course you were wealthy enough to use oranges as pattern weights. Like using oranges as pattern weights is like the most rich person thing. I was really hoping to get more of a chance to actually talk to you guys, but... Um, I've been having so much fun and there have been so many visitors around that I can't really pull out my wibbly wobbly timey wimey futuristic cell phone. But I did want to show just this gorgeous, gorgeous scenery. It is so nice. I won't lie, there were moments where I felt a little bit inadequate because I hadn't shown more of my kit and I wished that I had done more of it myself so I could look down and feel proud of what I'd done. But instead of stressing myself out and rushing last minute, I had a bunch of friends who cared about me and wanted to share their hobby with me and wanted to share their literal clothing with me. Even Katie's longtime friend Julie let me borrow a bonnet and gave me a pair of short stays. And feeling loved like that is so much better than doing a con crunch. Fine, I guess I'll eat pickles in a, a more professional way. Use the back camera and everything. How do you flip it around? You hit the little button that looks like two arrows it's, facing each other. It's not on there. Here, do you want me to look at it? Oh, it's already filming. Oh no.